Dr. Kay Seller in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes. With our Christmas cheer. Yes, with our Christmas <laughs> cheer and joining us for some Christmas cheer. Cheer, cheer. I haven't had very much of this, I promise. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's sure. It's Renee Shatling, who is the president and CEO of the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having we me. We haven't seen you since your birthday. That's we're so right. glad you were on our show for your birthday. <laughs> I know. That was so much fun. We always we'll have so to do it again. Brief. So, you know, we broke out the wine again just for your occasion. That's right. Because it's the start of the holidays. I love it. It and could be my birthday, the holidays, whatever, right? Let's and it's right. the beginning of the building. I see it taking shape in downtown Baton Rouge, your new home location. It's going to be fabulous. Talk to us about it. The Kerry Siraj Community Arts Center. It's so exciting, you know, because it was the old district attorney's office. Yeah. And it's a great triangle-shaped building, perfect for arts people. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll be uh, a building that um, where artists can come and record music. I I love that. that. You know, um, they can work on their craft. We'll have artist studios. We'll have kilns. Um, all different ways that people can come together and work for free or r- really affordable means, right? Because we want our talent to stay in this community. We want to be able to have people visit us and see what a great cultural community we have. Well, even for those that go off, uh, having that base of having had a great arts center to you know just inspire their creativity while they're growing up and stuff is so important And to meet other artists and people of different mediums and just to enjoy that collaborative environment that's so important and i think we have some renderings that we can show of the building uh, can y'all pop those up oh, for there folks they to are. see? Yes. Yeah. So, so beautiful. Yeah, Talk. so we're also adding, a, and you can see on that rendering, we're adding a rooftop terrace with an indoor and outdoor space. So if you're an artist, you can go up there and be inspired. But if you want to just come up and have a glass of wine or have some of your friends over uh, before a show at the Manship or the River Center or just on a Friday afternoon, you can absolutely do that. And then the extension that we're building, the glass extension, um, I know that we have, uh, Shell has sponsored that art gallery. We'll have a two-story art gallery in there with rotating art exhibits and a lot from the community. So it's so, so exciting. And, and you know, that's an area of downtown that, that you know, was a little bit, um, I guess, underrepresented. And it now, needed a little beautification there right go. there on that I corner. Like that, that, yeah. that, cor- that corner mm-hmm. on the world, you know, of the downtown world and all the neighboring buildings this is going to just uplift and really add some glam yeah i'm super some excited glam about and it. some art yeah, yeah. And, exactly. and and i can tell you i've been practicing on my art so i want to be in the gallery she when is you getting like, better when you like, i can't wait when you, when you like open it up absolutely mm-hmm. yes absolutely and, and i want to be on the chair to everyone who comes to see mine and we'll give them a whole lot so that they love everything by the time they leave <laughs> That's right. That's my I thought. love it. And <laughs> well, we it. know a few musicians. If you ever need any musicians exactly. up there to play a little music, I think you know that's plenty too. <laughs> but let's let's talk about 2020. Hard for everyone in the creative yes. community, musicians, all artists, everything. But y'all have done some things to kind of adapt and kind of keep things going. Talk about some of those things that y'all have done during this time. You know, we really, we really kept pushing to have people connect to their artists and to the community. And one of the one of the things we love is the TGIF concerts, where we um, tell businesses, you know, you've had all those Zoom meetings. Let the one at the end of the week be your TGIF. You know, any day or any time of the day is a TGIF opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um, And you can hire a musician of your choice, your genre, and spend 20, 30 minutes just enjoying the music of that musician. We go. We pay the musician, but they can put a tip jar out. That has helped to sustain them. Um, we have a program called Creative Relief, mm-hmm. where we were able to provide some grant funds for artists, um, some emergency funds, like $300 for rent or, or electricity. You know, we want them to be able to live and thrive and do their work. And um, we've done a lot of that. We're working on outdoor concerts. We had Sunday in the Park, and right. that was really great. We followed all the restrictions. Um, but people were great. Like they were really hungry for a concert. So we're looking to do our jazz series in the spring. Same thing outside or, you know, how, however per, we're permitted to do it 
that's what we're going to do. And even this weekend, the Festival of Lights downtown is a little bit abbreviated, right? We'll still have festival. We'll still have the lighting of the Christmas tree and all that stuff. But we'll have performers. You know, we have some great circus performers here in the city. We hired them. Um, we have our arts markets, and they're they're safe. There's you know all the distancing Outdoor and everything. Shopping. But yes. every weekend in December. And that allows artists to sell all their wares. So all that art you're making, you could sell it at the I don't market. have enough to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be where exactly can people find that on the weekends? On Saturday or Sunday or both? It's on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And it's um, we do it along with the farmer's market. So Great. on Saturdays from 8 until noon, you can go downtown to Main Street. And um, we're right there in the parking lot. Can't miss us. Um, there's 60 vendors and they're all original art you know from really all over the region even outside of baton rouge and they come in and um it's just a great opportunity if you're shopping for christmas I great mean, I place to shop <laughs> yeah exactly absolutely. Just, and support your local folks absolutely I mean, you know because that's who really really needs the support and especially the artists i'm absolutely committed to buying enough. small and buying local this year me too me too and you mean buying small business not buying small quantities betsy i want to clarify well, a little bit of both a little bit of both it's been a tough year i think everybody nobody's expecting huge christmas gifts this year right but i think it's important that we do support the artists and the local businesses and those people that are really just trying to survive after the year we've had absolutely many of absolutely. them may have lost their full-time job and this is just helping them with art therapy as they yeah. are passionately painting or doing whatever they're doing to keep afloat. Well, you know, even we've had uh, costumers from the different performing arts groups, the theater groups, mm -hmm. make masks and we sell those masks and 100% of the proceeds go to those organizations and they've done really well. We sold, you know, 1,500 masks to Exxon. We sold 400 masks to we performance contracts. We need to get some masks. Right. Yeah. We do. So. Anyway, do you have something like Christmas themed? You know, I'll have to reach out to my artist and have mm -hmm. them do a little. Tell them to put a little Santa Claus beard on yes. the end of it. Yes. You know, braid it with some little tinsels and something crazy, yeah. you know. But I would say, I would say to the audience, you know, support your artists, support your arts organizations. Certainly the Arts Council, we re-grant money and funds. So, you know, look look to support those people and give that as a Christmas gift in honor of, you know, Absolutely. and support your artists in the town. Absolutely. So, so what else is on the horizon for the Arts uh, Council? Well, you know, our building is our big news, and, yes. and you know, we're, we're, we have a public campaign right now, so you certainly can contribute and be part of that if you want to buy a chair or a bench or just be part of the energy. That would be mm -hmm. great. But also, look for festivals in the spring. We're going to modify it if we have to and do virtual combinations, but we are going to be there. Well, the thing of it is, with virtual, I think a lot of folks, they're kind of getting a little tired of virtual because they want to be there physically. But the one thing that virtual does, it opens up your concert experience to folks all over the world that may not even be able to travel here Absolutely. to do that during this time where people are a little afraid of traveling. So it does open up your audience. And for those that can come, then that's great, too, mm -hmm. when you can do both. I like Absolutely. That. So, Betsy, did you say that we needed to support some toys for Todd? Yes. So, I got a call today from Santa and the U.S. Marine Corps for the Toys for Tots toy drive. And so on Sunday, December 6th, is gonna be one opportunity for you to go to Baton Rouge Harley Davidson on Segan at 10 a.m. They're gonna do the blessings of the bike. And then from 12 to six, they're gonna to go to the Pastime Grill and collect toys for tots. Um, socks for the homeless, canned goods and non-perishable for the Baton Rouge Food Bank, and Bibles for those in Lake Charles. So could you help Santa and the United States Marine Corps out and go to the pastime? Could you do that? So we really do appreciate it if you could help them out. And if, we'll have information on our Facebook page. And just remember, if you're going to rock it, make, make sure, sure you rock, rock it right, right with the Arts <laughs> Council of Greater Baton Rouge. Yes. Check out all their cool stuff.
Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts in the heart of the Denim Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your 